going to be a deep kick as we're on a great day and Johnny Rogers, exciting player. Johnny the Jet takes it out to the 50-yard line and he's going to take that baby 87 yards to the 13-yard line. We see the Huskers line up and not much success on a couple of plays. Here we are again and a Michigan swarms to the defense again. And then eventually we will see Jerry Taggy drop back and hit Jeff Kinney for a 9-yard touchdown pass for the first score of the game as Nebraska will lead 7 to nothing. Here's the pass, and what a great job. They kick it deep, and Bump Elliott of Michigan, the great running back, number 18, takes it out and gets a great, great play, 46 yards. And here they are in the wing tee. They pitch the ball off to Bump Elliott. And it looks like Bump Elliott is going to rumble his way all the way down, down towards us here from the booth. He's to the five. He scores on a 51-yard touchdown. Here we are almost at the end of the first quarter, and they kick it off deep to Johnny Rogers. Again, great running room and great alley. He could go all the way. He's, he could go. No, he does not go all the way. He gets stopped. And Jerry Taggy drops back. And he finds Woody Cox and hits him deep on the left side. And Woody Cox takes it in for a touchdown. That leads us 14-7 at the end of the quarter. They kick it off deep to Bump Elliott. He takes it out 29 yards. And here Jurgis rolls and he's running. But the ball's on the ground. And it is picked up by the defensive lineman of Nebraska, number 79. Tackled by number 56. And here we see... Nebraska, nothing going on the play. Two-yard loss, tackled by 49, nothing going for Kinney. Again, uh, this time, Kinney gets down for about 16 yards. Before he's tackled at the top right end of the field. And that will be enough to help him for a first down. Nebraska has the ball, and they try to run the option. The ball is on the ground, but they pitch it. They get it away, but it is not much going on the play. They are stuffed again, and this time they look like they're going to be passing, and Kinney drops back, and he is sacked immediately, oh my gosh, by number 81 in Michigan, and the field goal's no good, 14-7 at the half. They kick the ball off deep, again here to, to the running back of Michigan, number 18, Bump Elliott, and he has a great great return 45 yards they drop back and they get about five yards on the carry to bump Elliott this time here we're going to see Jurgis the amazing option quarterback he's going to keep the ball and he's going to get five yards for a first down and now it looks like they're going to be passing out of the split T he drops back and it's an interception interception by number 18 the quarterback of Nebraska and not much on the play as he gets tackled right away, but a great play nevertheless. And here we see them hand the ball off to to Jeff Kenny, and he gets a couple yards on the play. Not bad, not bad. Um, they give the ball off to Jeff Kenny for 16 yards, and it looks like we are going to now see a touchdown pass which is going to be from Nebraska as they drop back they hit Jeff Kinney on the quick screen Taggy does and Jeff Kinney eludes a tackle there he's to the 20 he's all the way home in Nebraska 21 to 7 here they are taking a commanding lead kick the ball off to Bump Elliott Bump Elliott takes it down he's to the 30 to the 40 and oh my gosh what another great return by Bump Elliott they're in the T formation Jurgis options out to Bump Elliott and he is tackled almost immediately. They run out, they are trying to get something deep off of a option and it appears they get stopped. They are going for a pass and it looks like once again they are picked off by number 18 once again. Nebraska is going to run out the clock here as we are down into the fourth quarter. There's a few plays left and you just once again have to Marvel at how great this Nebraska defense is with the turnovers, the fumble recovery, the two interceptions. As they move on to 2-0, and and Michigan moves to 0-1-1 after a very close tie uh, from Oklahoma last week. 
and uh, the full house formation and this is going to wrap it up right here at the end.